Four Western Slope mayors stand side by side as they take on their lifeblood industry. Good evening. I'm Kira Bresnahan. And I'm Rick Adams. Special interest groups are infusing tens of thousands of dollars into Garfield's County political races. And four mayors from different parties are taking a hard line. But as News Channel 5's Peter Schaller tells us, it might be too little too late. Time is running out in the Roaring Fork Valley. The election is just days away. The Garfield County Clerk and Recorder's Office reports that 34% of voters have already decided. But before a sparse crowd, the mayors of Rifle, Glenwood Springs, Carbondale, and Newcastle announced that democracy is getting hijacked. That's our greatest fear. Do they care about our communities or do they care about the profit of a corporation? These campaigns have historically been grassroots campaigns, yard signs, people canvassing. This year, the canvassing is happening on air and in the mail. It appears that tens of thousands of dollars are being spent, and we don't know who it's being spent by. The groups behind these mass mailings and TV ads identify themselves with names such as Small Town Values, and they support specific Republican candidates. But these mayors say the battle isn't partisan. You asked about uh, our party affiliation. I mentioned that I'm an independent. Uh, in the last few years, I've taken an equally strong stand against the Democratic Party, uh, who has been working to influence uh, municipal elections on the Western Slope. Yellow tape separated the early voting polls from their questioning, is Garfield County for sale? And maybe it's a part of the change of our culture that uh, is a result of the massive growth in Garfield County. With critical commissioner seats on the line, there's an admission that politics isn't what it used to be. In Glenwood Springs, Peter Schaller, News Channel 5. And Garfield's County Republicans do say that contributions are coming from both sides. They say Democrats have taken thousands from environmental protection groups.